you supposed to find a good girl if you're not telling them like that you're a nerd up front? Yeah, that's basically the goal. Because I get in. bored with the ask, good girls. Yeah, but if you're, oh my hold god, on. hold on. Okay, what's wrong with a good girl? Yeah, what the f is going on? I like to party. Jesus, honey, wax much? This is unwaxed. Get in, Lizard. We're going shopping. With Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Welcome back to another episode of the Unwaxed Podcast with your. Hold on, throw down, sister Sistine, and her hype man, Sophia. You guys, I'm a little flustered right now. Why are you flustered, Sistine? We just wrapped an interview with uh, a boy that is too hot to handle. I did say that in the intro, so. He is too hot to handle, and um, it I'll was be, honestly... I'll be honest, he was a lot cuter in person than I thought. You guys, the vibes Sophia was throwing at him <laughs> That's were That's not true. That's steamy. not true. That's not true. Sophia, this is when I knew Sophia was done. In the interview, you guys will you guys will hear in a second. He said, I can pull a girl in with my eyes. And Sophia's move is pulling a guy in with her eyes. So the eyes were so strong. Meanwhile, yeah. like, I was literally just like, twiddling my thumbs. Uh, you know, I'm just a natural born flirt. I just Oh <laughs> God. Well, it's a really fun interview. You guys will hear it. But yeah. we're gonna give He's you a nice guy. A weekly update right now. I just got back from Vegas yesterday. <gasps> Viva Las Vegas. Was there anything that you had to leave in Vegas? My money. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, no. I went I went gambling. Um, and I was so excited for it because I genuinely thought, beginner's luck. I can't lose. I'm going to do right. so well. I was so bad. And I'll tell you what killed me. What? The freaking slots. Yeah, wait, I have to say, when she said she went to slots, I go, that was your first red flag and dumb move. You never win at it's slots. It's so ever. rigged. I was playing with my boyfriend. We pulled the lever and we win $120. And I was like, oh my God, we're winning. We're up. I lost it all within three pulls. Mm. I told you to do roulette. She texted me. She I goes, did do roulette. Yeah, and I said, I gave you numbers. I gave you colors. And guess what your numbers gave me? Squat. Oh. Squat. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Usually, I, I maybe that first time I did it, that was a lucky streak. So you lost all your money. Yeah. Um, did you do anything else in Vegas? We ate a lot of good food. Because she was there for the Adele concert that postponed. Yes. So her and her boyfriend were like, we're just going to, with the family, his family, which is a cure, actually. Yes. Was that, were you nervous to go with the family to? No, I wasn't nervous because we've gotten a few dinners at this point, but they're just so nice. It was just a yeah. really lovely, easy weekend. I couldn't even imagine the difference if if our family were to do that Vegas trip, it would just be absolute chaos. It was kind of nice just being so relaxed with right. some chill people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went golfing. And that's the only thing I was really nervous about. She was really about nervous about golfing. Because I was trying to, of course, you know, talk myself up in the beginning of the relationship. And I was like, yeah, I golf. I'm a great golfer. I'm so good. And eventually before the trip, the parents come up to me and they go, all right, let's see how good you really are. And I was like, gulp. Oh yeah, God. if you're bad, that's going to be really embarrassing. I didn't do that bad. Yeah, I'm I, I will admit my drive was not great, but my woods were good. Woods good job. were good. Honestly, there's nothing more embarrassing than when you say you are so good at something. Let's say yeah. you're bowling. You're, I'm so good. I'm going to kick your ass. And then all of a sudden you get there and it's gutter. It was the entire yeah, time. Exactly. Like, yeah. So thank God. Thank God. Did, because it really with our golf game, we are good. And I'm just not a just saying inconsistent. that. But very inconsistent because we don't do yeah. it enough. So some days we're on fire, it's almost whole ones, and then some days it is. But my penis. lesson is learned. I'm never gonna hype myself up again. It's better to act like you're really bad at something and then exceed their expectations. But I'm gonna take her back to Vegas and give her true true Vegas trip. What's your version of true Vegas? Uh, the classic morning clubs or morning clubs day clubs night clubs going to steakhouses gambling and actually winning something oh. like things like that like that's yeah. a truly you know like what happens in vegas stays in vegas and i want to give you that almost borderline hangover movie but not to the point where we lose someone you know i actually did watch that movie before and no going drugs. on this trip I was like, okay, I gotta watch The Hangover. No, that's like the worst. Wait, was his family especially You're like, okay, gotta recreate this. <laughs> I'm getting a face tattoo and getting a monkey. I would die. I know. What did you do while I was gone? It was actually kind of weird. Right when I left you, you were like, I miss you. Yeah, I missed you. you I was did? Like, yeah. Well, I hung out with Gabby. Hi, Gabby. 
And um Gabby looked disappointed by that. God, thanks, <laughs> Gabby. More angry, we shared actually. a bottle of wine and we just talked. We literally talked for like four hours. Honestly, I have to say, literally this weekend, I did nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean how amazing is it when you have a weekend and you don't have anything planned and you actually can just calm down? That you is know, my favorite thing to do. Right? Because there's I, every weekend, yeah, I look forward to the weekend after working all week, but there's nothing better when you actually have nothing planned and you can sleep in, you wake up not hungover, you get to work out. It's just detoxing. Waking up not hungover. Except with her. <laughs> no, you, we each have those friends. But waking up not hungover is probably one of my favorite things to do now. We act like we wake up hungover. No, hungover but you know what I mean? Like, it used to be when, when you just turned 21, it's like all you want to do is be 21 and go out every weekend. It's and so nice to not... But, on Saturday and Sunday, think about let that. Let me tell you, oh. nothing feels better. Yeah, like drinking a few tequila sodas. Yeah, you feel good. But nothing beats waking up at mm. 8 a.m. on a Saturday, no hangover, feeling great. Even even like not drinking one thing. Like because sometimes even having like a tiny bit of alcohol, my sleep is kind of off in some way. I just have a headache in the morning because your body is just not as good as it used to be. Like I know in college, I yeah. could drink and it would just... Nothing. I just, I'd wake up and go to my ADM. But now it, you just feel one glass of wine. And so well, I just it was realized nice to just do that. How pathetic we sound. Like genuinely, Sophia. Is what that the bad? hell are we what the hell what the hell are we actually talking about? What is what <laughs> I kinda like it. No? Okay. No, we got it. No, that's not good. I'm gonna snap us out of that. We just said that we hate being social and going out and having fun because we would rather wake up early on a Sunday. What is wrong with us? But guess what? What are we, 85? Just, you know, but guess what? What? Guess what? We don't have to worry about that this weekend because this weekend is Super Bowl. Go Rams. Go Rams. She's going to the Super Bowl. I am going to the Super Bowl. I am very excited. I will be studying football yeah. a lot before I, this weekend. I can weekend. teach you if you need, need me to. I'm actually excited just to eat hot dogs. Oh, God. Oh, is it Glizzy's? Glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we're so excited. This weekend's going to be really fun. We have an event on Friday. We're doing some fun things on Saturday, then Super Bowl Sunday. We're not doing fun things. We're doing... Not a double date, a triple date. Whoa, wow, <laughs> zinger. I actually, I was going to bring this up because I know a lot of people were asking in the comments, actually, a which I was very surprised about because I didn't think people probably really cared, but I got so many comments saying, well, what happened on your double date? I How love that the listeners are keeping you Yeah, they were keeping throughout the week because yeah. I was just like, you know, I can just like slide by that. I don't need to mention Yeah. It. it went really well. Okay. Are you talking about your one-on-one -on -one date or your double date? Oh, uh, so, yeah, we, did I ever mention that I got, went on? You did, but you never followed up. Oh, so both dates went really, really well. But and we did talk about the double date, but I do want to actually ask you questions about your one-on-one -on -one date. Okay, sure. Because you came back and said it was one of the best dates you've ever had, and I feel like what he did wasn't so out of the ordinary that that nobody could actually do themselves. It was really simplistic yet perfect, and I feel like you should give the people some insight on what made it so good. Are you talking about the beach one? Yes. Okay, so why I thought this was such a perfect date, and it wasn't, yeah, he was great company, and obviously we get along really well, and I think that when you go out with someone, the one thing that I've realized even, I've been, I always say, like, single for a really long time, and I've gone on a lot of dates, and what made this a little different was the fact that you didn't feel like you had to try so hard. And we always mm -hmm. say that, like, when you, and I realized that, and I forgot about that, because I feel like every time I go on dates, I'm trying really hard to be funny. But aside, really aside from the emotional No, but I'm just saying that that was the initial thing of why it was fun. But the date part of it... Like, my question is, did he pick you up? Yeah, so... Check. He, yeah, so the thing is, look, I know people always in the comments, oh, like, preference, like, so he doesn't have to. I get it. For me, I appreciate it. So he picked me up. We went to the beach. We cooked dinner together. It was just really nice. No, but he did things like, you guys drank a bottle of wine at the beach and watched the sunset. Like, that's... A bottle of wine is... 14 bucks, the sunset's free. It'll yeah, make a girl very but, happy. But that's the thing, it's like, I didn't need it to be the most extravagant thing ever. Exactly. We, we didn't, you need, didn't need to do like a hundred, okay, we gotta go get drinks, dinner, this, this. You don't need this. to spend all this money. Yeah. yeah. Re honestly, what made it was nice was because it was so easy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something overcomplicated. We were pretty much in one place the whole time. And we got to really know each other by doing things like walking on the beach or cooking together mm -hmm. or just sitting watching the sunset talking. Like, it was really intimate, but also really good to get to know the person that you're sitting across from. Well, I'm happy. Yeah, it was a you good You like him. Yeah, it was, I liked him. It was cool. 
I don't I know. Could tell so you, I could tell you are trying so hard to be like, yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I just, yeah, I just, I, yeah, yeah, I just don't know. What to do. Uh, She's like, let's pivot. Um, should we talk about who we have on the show today? Yes, please. <laughs> you couldn't have said that faster. So you guys, yes, we have Stevon Ditter from Too Hot to Handle season three. He was the LA bad boy, dream boy that every girl wants to have but hates to lose. You guys, you've got to watch the show on Netflix. It is such an easy binge. They bring all these people together in a house thinking that they're on some crazy party sex yeah. fun show. Come to realize that they're not allowed to even kiss someone, touch someone, yeah. and it's all about building your emotional intimacy. And when I saw him on the show, he was my favorite. He was. Yes, is he cute? Obviously. But he was just really outspoken and just didn't care in the beginning. Yeah. And it was so fun to watch him. And then why he ended up still being my favorite is he'll talk about it, his transition. It's You can totally tell the difference between how he started and how he ended. And this yeah. episode is really funny. It's really kind of funny, spicy. Really chaotic. Definitely spicy. Viewer discretion advised. If you love strippers, we're talking a lot about no, strippers. No, we are truly diving into this boy's brain. And probably how most men think. So stay tuned for that. I feel so happy right now. I'm surprised. Why? Because it's my favorite part of the episode, Sophia. And why is that, Sistine? Because we get to do the best ad read ever for my favorite brand, Mr. Manscaped himself. Oh. Sexiest one of them all, Mr. Manscaped. We are excited to announce today that Manscaped's brand new ultra premium collection, believe it or not, they're moving above the bikini line, folks. What? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about upgrading the man in your life's hygiene routine with your favorite manly scent. This all-in-one skin and hair kit is for the everyday man that covers him from head to toe, quite literally. You guys, a self care routine is so important. So we all know what a game changer Manscaped the Lawn Mower 4.0 has been for trimming below the waist. I love the Lawn Mower 4.0. What a genius name, by the I way. No, they have really good names for their products. So, and now you guys can enhance his perfect grooming routine with their ultra premium collection. This package includes Manscaped's premium deodorant, not only for his balls, but say goodbye to his smelly armpit hugs. There's also the hydrating body spray, which is great for tattoos and people with dry skin. So it's designed to keep the skin feeling smooth, moisturized, and smelling fresh. Mm -mm -mm. In addition, there's also shower essentials included, like their body wash and their two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Plus, free gift. Who doesn't like free gifts? So Me, get, I love free gifts. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can get a three-pack of set of lip balm to keep those lips feeling moist. A lip balm is so good, you're guaranteed to steal one or two from his set. That's four products plus a gift inside the Ultra Premium Collection. All of these products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, vegan-friendly, and dye-free. It is the best ingredients with zero compromise. If this doesn't sound good enough, you guys can get 20% off and free shipping with the code UNWAX at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off plus free shipping with the code UNWAXED at manscaped.com. The only smell you'll want on him in a bottle, thanks to Manscaped. Guys, our next partner is Green Chef. It is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit. Enjoy your greens while also being green. Green Chef offsets 100% of their plastic packaging in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. As we mentioned, they're convenient and easy, so you can spend less time stressing and more time enjoying delicious home-cooked meals. Green Chef's pre-made and pre-measured sauces, dressings, and spices to get more of your chef-curated flavor in less time. That makes it so easy. Green Chef offers 35 nutritious and flavorful options to choose from every week, featuring premium, clean ingredients that are seasonally sourced for peak freshness. Green Chef's always-changing variety 
of easy to follow recipes means there's something new to discover each week, so you're never gonna get bored. Look, sometimes Sophie and I get super busy, especially on days where we shoot. So it's really exciting for us to use Green Chef to take care of meal planning, grocery shopping, and meal prep. It's nice for them to take care of that even on days we don't shoot. So if you guys want in on this awesome deal, go to greenchef.com slash unwaxed130 and use code unwaxed130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Say it to the people in the back. Again, that is greenchef.com slash unwaxed130 and use the code unwaxed130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Try the number one meal kit for eating well. Not to sound cliche, but this guy is too hot to Ooh, handle. Baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not only is this handsome LA guy a model and a DJ, but he was also on Netflix series um, season three of Too Hot to Handle, and most recently captioned his photo, Life is short, my <laughs> is not. Wow. Go get a tattoo. <laughs> this is seven, seven dinner. dinner. <laughs> Make sure you want it. I actually, when I went on your page and I saw that, I was like, I don't know why, but that was the funniest commission. <laughs> and it's so simple. You're a poet too. Yeah. Who? Yeah, I do haikus. You know, you oh, can hire yeah. me. I'll I figure it out. That. Perfect. You pegged me as the type of guy. I think you were cringing while she was hyping you up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you don't like really? that. I, I like to come across as the nicest asshole you ever meet. So, like, I act asshole. like a prick to the general public. Mm. But then when you get to know me, I'm not. So, like, as soon as you say, like, my pricky things that I do and the stupid shit that I do, I. I, I cringe at myself. But yeah, I totally get that. It's I hate a when lot. people talk. I think you cringed when I was like hyping you up this morning. I don't too. like. I don't like. I love giving people attention mm -hmm. and compliments, but yeah. I hate them myself. I hate it. But someone told me one time when they were paying me a bunch of compliments, I was like, "No, I, I'm ugly, and I actually smell really bad. I haven't showered in days." And he's like, "How about you just say thank you?" And yeah, I was like, you "You're right. I should <laughs> no, no, probably just say thank you." So life is short. My <laughs> is not. <laughs> Where was the inspiration behind this? Did you get any, what were any responses exactly. you received? Um, I, I got a lot of good responses. Good responses. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, a lot of it was, I don't know if you remember when Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson dated. Yeah. After they broke up, she told everybody that his was huge. Yes. And he went around saying, like, you know, I honestly hate it because now everybody's underwhelmed when they see it. And oh. taken aback by it. Well, I don't know, because now he's dating Kim K. So he so must be. That's what I'm saying. I took right. one out of the books. He seemed to do it right, and he's yeah. doing great now. So I was like, all right, let's hype myself up. Even if I'm wrong, at least someone's going to get a laugh Have out of it. Have the DMs just gone <laughs> up since you said that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, so imagine. I want to actually talk about how your DMs and your life has changed after Too Hot to Handle. So you're actually the second person that we've had from uh, Too Hot to Handle with Carly Lawrence. Oh, okay, I love Carly. Yeah, she's so awesome. sweet. Yeah. So I'm excited to have a male's perspective on the show. And she was telling us a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I actually had no idea because I was like, when do you guys eat? Mm -hmm. Did you have to quarantine for two weeks there? Yeah. yeah. You had to do all that as well? Yeah, so I had to quarantine for two weeks. Um, part of the reason why, like, by the end of it, I was kind of losing it on the show just right. because there was no communication to the outside world. Yeah. Uh -huh. So after two weeks by yourself, and I'm a stoner, so, like, no weed. That, oh, so that you was nothing. nothing. No phone. Nothing. So you're bored out of your mind. Losing it. Oh losing God. it. Oh, and then you meet, like, a group of ten people, and everyone else just went through that. So mm -hmm. you guys become such a like close knit group right. that every single situation seems to be a little harder hitting or more to the yeah. heart or whatever the situation is. Because it seemed really emotional when someone would make a connection or relationship. It very. just seemed like zero to a hundred. Hundred percent. Right. And, um, and it, things move seven days at a time there in one day just wow. because you're only there for so long. So the connections happen like that, and then when people get kicked off or whatever, which I didn't know people got kicked off. Yeah, uh, I didn't so even know that either when I saw yeah, it. Yeah, so when it happened, I, I just I lost it. So oh. that oh. was definitely a situation. But the food was bomb. The I'll give you that. Bomb. Yeah, they, they we had, I think it was Rihanna's five-star chef. Oh, you guys had chefs there. Oh, in-house chef. That's that, awesome. like, oh, that's made, nice. It was like full buffet meals that they would give you three times a day and you just eat whatever yeah. you want. So you probably knew immediately when you saw that cone thing that it was the show that Or were, did you yeah. did you guys did really you know? Any, no, I had no idea. Let me let me just explain what type of to the reality them show comes up and yeah. says like Sex Island and you're like, all right, I just want to do well, this. Yeah. Island, it kind of I feel like we should give some context to what the show is. It's basically a bunch of horny adults put on an island and they're tested to see if they can make a real connection without any sexual fornication going on. Yeah, we on. get cock blocked by a cone. That's usually how Exactly. Yeah. But do, so they tricked you guys to joining, because I don't think anyone in the right mind would want to join that show. Correct. So, Especially the people that they want on the show. Right. right. Um, so they tricked you. Yeah. They they contacted me. I'll be honest. When I first got contacted, it was over Instagram. I got mm -hmm. a DM. And I was dating a girl at the time. 
And Ooh. I woke up the next morning, both DMs were gone. Different people, same same show or whatever, both were gone. So I asked her, I was like, did you go through my phone last night and delete this? And she's like, nah, nah, it wasn't me. Oh, come but on. But she was a compulsive liar. So oh, like, I finally got it out of her and she's like, yeah, I did. And I was like, well, now I'm going to go on it just because you told me not to. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. So much to unpack. Yeah. So obviously that was... That I ended it right there. Did you, has I she went, done that before? Oh yeah, she, it, it was a bad My question is, why do you give your phone password? Yeah, why did you? Oh, she had her face in the thing. It wasn't even the phone. Like, she got her full face ID in there. How long were you guys dating? Like a month and a half. That's it. <laughs> Does she track your location, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, where did you find this one? They're all over. What are you talking about? I, I don't, you guys have situations that aren't like this? Because that's Never. every relationship I'm in. I, well, you're just choosing the same type of girl in just, like, different variety. Yeah. Oh, my God. If See, I don't okay. put their face in my phone after a month, I'd be like, all right. I get, but she's probably flag. watching this season now, oh, losing for sure. her mind. For sure. Have you I heard from her at all? No, I'm blocked. <laughs> Maybe that's good. I think I would block yeah. her. No, I, I don't block people. I like I like a little bit of chaos. You do? But, yeah. but she fully blocked me. But essentially, she did all that. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go on the show. And then I, once I like, they told me like, okay, you're going to come on. This is what it is, blah, blah, blah. I had no care in the world. I wasn't trying right. to read into it or figure it out. I was like, all right, whatever, let's do it. And then I woke up one day and there was a cone telling me I can't have sex. Mm. See, this whole process was really fascinating to me. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass when I say this, but Sophia goes, you got to watch the season. You got to watch this guy. It's really hysterical. You were you're my so, favorite. you Honestly, were my favorite you were. too. Thank you. But it kind of made me sad because you didn't find a connection at all. Um, you got well, pied. Kinda. You got well, pied. I mean, don't get me wrong. The way I looked at it was that I didn't want to come out of the show in a relationship. Okay. I, I again, just got out of a really toxic relationship, as you guys both right. know now. Yeah. Uh, headspace wasn't right. So, like, I went into it a little differently than I would. Usually, I'd just not really care about emotions, right. do whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. Seem to be more, like, realistic towards what's going on, try and be friendly towards the people and make a relationship out right. of it. And it just didn't work. But in my head, every relationship, whether it was with a homie or one of the friends after the fact or whatever, is still a relationship in itself. Right. Yeah. So I'm still really close with everybody on the show. Oh, that's good. I'm a flirt with everybody on the show. I don't care. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I'm still getting out of it what I want to get out of it. Right, And right. now I still get to do whatever I want. And you still are hanging out. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have to go wait for the show to come out to hide a relationship or something like that. I right. kept, kept doing me, kept vibing, doing me to this moment. And mm -hmm. Is there anything cool that the show restricts you from doing or talking about? I mean, to an extent, yeah, yeah, but a lot of me, like, they put me on the show because I break rules and I do whatever I want. Right, yeah. right, right, So, right. like, I will I try and follow what Netflix tells me to do and mm -hmm. listen to them, but I definitely have, like, my own say on it. I, I let people know what I think. I'm not afraid to stand up right. for it. And yeah. if I really feel like I should be doing something, I do it anyway, but most of the time, yeah, they have some things to say, but they're pretty lenient. Was there anyone on the show that you were, like, surprised that you were attracted to? Nah, I like everybody. You like <laughs> You don't <laughs> have a type. Well. No, I don't have. I, I mean, my mom says I have a type. She, What's what she yeah, says? Blondes. I love blondes. Mm, but okay. you know, the first person I went for on the show wasn't a blonde. That's true. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I I really am about personality. You could be the most beautiful person out right. there, and if your personality shit, it doesn't matter. Okay, right, so right. what about a, a woman's personality attracts you? You got to make me laugh. Like you have yeah, to be able to just vibe think. with me. If you take things too seriously, like. That's my job. That's my job to be, like, the anxious one sometimes and, like, protective. But, like, yeah, if yeah. you're too serious over it, it kind of just pushes me away a little bit. I just need someone to let me do me, and then mm -hmm. I'll fall into place properly. You know, I feel like that's something that everyone looks for. Whenever I ask someone that question, then we we always say, like, yeah. a funny guy. Yeah. But it's surprising how many unfunny well, people there are No, 100%. The it's people bland. Bland. But no yeah. one here is funny. No. I think like everyone in this industry is not funny. That's why yeah. I like New York and, like, Miami. Because uh, it's a lot more, this. like, straightforward. Nobody's mm -hmm. being fake or bullshitting yeah. each other. It's yeah. just... I'll say what I want, and I'll laugh at the truth. Like, I'd right. much rather laugh at the truth than be taken aback by something that's For a lie. For sure. And our parents moved to Florida, and we were in Miami a lot. Oh, and so you guys went through funny. No, so Florida we went. It's, oh, so <laughs> oh, no, it's crazy. Lots it's of crazy. characters And I feel like there. everyone's just up for having a good time. Yeah. And here, it's just so different. No, everybody's stingy. I know. They, Are yeah. you from LA? No, I'm from Baltimore. Oh, really? Yeah, when Baltimore. did you come out here? I've been here four years now, and I did three in New York before that. Oh, so would you ever go back to New York? Oh, 100%. So I, I would love to be. You're here. also a model. Do you still yeah. model today? Mm -hmm. Is that why you were living in New York? That's why I was in New York, yeah. I dropped out of college and started modeling in New York. And then I did, like, DJing and nightlife. I worked for yeah. Cal Group. I was some, like, did marijuana shit out there and everything. And then moved out here to, like, solidify all of it. Well, it was really mm -hmm. funny because before we started recording, 
you actually triggered me. Oh, God. You what really triggered me. You said that we worked on a shoot together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I told you, it was this shoot in particular that actually gives me night sweats when I think <laughs> yeah, about really. it. It is... It was a Vogue Arabia prom-themed photo shoot. Oh, my God. And I remember just, I had, like, a beehive on the top of my head. I had a lion's mane. I, remember, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I looked so ugly, and I also remember that everyone, like, you were hanging out with people. Everyone was sort of talking to everyone. I hid in the basement. <laughs> I hid in the basement because I had no friends. I think I was, like, 19 at the time. I was you like, were I don't scared know of anyone. everybody. I was scared of my shadow. I was scared I of my reflection, honestly, of the way they made me look. But I, I mean, I guess it's so crazy well, that the small paths world. Would cross. I think that's yeah. so freaky that you guys have known each other for that long. Well, I wouldn't like, know each other, but now no, we're but now, now we're cool. <laughs> now but. we're friends. Okay, but I feel like, are you still more into modeling, or do would you want to get more into DJing? You know, modeling was only ever a thing for me because I knew I could do it. Yeah. Like, where I'm from, again, Baltimore City, we don't have an entertainment industry. Right. Mm. So I did all of it on my own. I made the agencies. I got signed and all that. My parents all thought it was fake. Really? So I, that's more like something I've already conquered mm -hmm. at this yeah. point. I do it. I, I make my money and my bills from it. It's handled properly. And right. then now music has always been my thing of what I wanted to do. Right. Yeah. So this is where I'm really stepping into that and like make, making sure that my bearings are down and yeah. I'm, I'm, I get structure are to you it. Deep house? Uh, deep house, trap, dubstep. I'll do just about anything. Yeah. Oh, um, I so love dubstep. Oh yeah, I'm not, not a good dancer, but my feet my feet can move quite fast. But I I'm not a good dancer. I, I highly doubt seeing either yeah, of I know you. Wait, I can't. We'll, we'll be, can be at your next set, buddy. We'll be at your next. Oh, set. let's run it. But it, you we'll said I think it's interesting. You said that your parents thought it was fake the careers yeah. that you wanted mm -hmm. to pursue. What do your parents do, if you don't mind me asking? So my parents owned a restaurant for about twenty five years. Oh, cool. And now they just like COVID shut it down and all that. Mm -hmm. And at the time, my mom had been starting a furniture company, so now they run that together. But they just run very like mom and dad stuff. Of right, course. Right, so that's right. why I'm thinking like, okay, so you're trying to pursue something completely out of right, their world. Right. And so, then I had a brother with Down syndrome too when I okay. was three. So like all the family members that said he should do baby modeling or kid modeling or this and that, a lot of the attention had to go focus on him and make sure that he was doing his classes right, and understanding right. everything. So I just went independent on everything. Yeah. And so like, six, I think it was like 17 years old, I got an American Eagle campaign all on my yeah. own. Wow. Paid 400 bucks, like bullshit. You're like, all right. Like, no it's, like, hey, it's a big deal that you got in the first place. Right. But my parents thought I was going sex trafficking ring. Oh like they were, they were God. for sure that I was going to end up in Saudi Arabia or something like that. How were you as a kid? Were you um, Instead you ended up in Vogue Arabia. Yeah. I was really good as a kid. Really? I didn't party till I was like 17 years old. I didn't drink. What were you like, like in high school? school? Yeah. Were you a good student? I was a nerd. I was a really? nerd. Come on. You're you're melting yeah. every girl's heart. Are you still no. a nerd, do you think? Oh yeah, I'm a weird kid. All right, all right. <laughs> let's get let's get let's get deep. How nerdy is nerd? Because some people are like, I like Star Wars, but okay. then others are like, like I build I'm Legos, like on video the weekends. games, book nerd, like that. Type I of think nerd. more of a socially awkward nerd, where okay. like I can talk to people. But I'm yeah. definitely a little quirky, and like I just yeah. have some things. Like I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of friends in high school. Nope. Um, Welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah, like it just no. it wasn't for me. Um, but as I've come out of that and lived in like a normal life, I've tend to have found people that are actually more normal and right. uh, don't care about their image and whatnot. But like, I mean, I was getting pretty good grades. I played sports, and that was it. I didn't oh do God. anything else. I didn't hang out with people. I didn't party. I didn't. Yeah, do it's shit. funny because first impression, you wouldn't think that of you. No. What do people give you, like, first impression? Mm, I'm, I'm an asshole. Like, I'm, I, they're like, oh, you're a fuck boy. You, you don't care what anybody thinks, this and that. And that's kind of the idea that I portray to people. Yeah. yeah. Um, only because I've had such negative experiences in my life, I've Being stopped humble. wanting that surface level experience. Yeah. So I give off, an, a, like, an idea that you wouldn't necessarily want to be around. Right. And then once you get to know me. So you're wearing it sort of as a shield to protect sure. who you really are sure. to people because. You know I don't want to waste my time. I, right, I agree. Right, Especially right. in LA, it's really hard to make a genuine exactly. connection. And I definitely find yeah. myself uh, acting a different way when I'm around a different group of people. I'm like, wait, this isn't even, I don't even like to do this stuff. I don't, right. This isn't me. Have you had a, uh, an easy time making friends in LA? Because I know it's hard. I think I've had a really easy time in LA because I did New York first. So like uh, we said earlier, yes. how I how yeah. I'm just very blunt and standoffish, right. and I'll tell you exactly how it is. When I do that to people that are from, born and raised in LA, they're not used to it, mm -hmm. so they almost respect it a little bit, yeah, um, totally. and it's unanticipated, so they like that difference. Whereas right. they're used to everybody just sucking their <laughs> doing whatever they yeah, want to make them feel better about themselves. So it, it honestly did work out for me in that essence. Um, 
and it's kept a lot of the fakes away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have like a really hard knit group of people now in LA that I stick true to that I help out. I scratch their back, they scratch mine, we take care yeah. of each right. other. I was from since the show came out, how do you think your life's changed from them? Because now you have to probably be even more selective. Kind of selective and... yeah. aware of like who you're bringing I to think, your I think a lot of it has to do with whoever has been there in the past year waiting for it to drop who's mm. actually been around and I've mm. seen that, who hasn't looked for anything from me because obviously I couldn't tell anybody what I did. Right, yeah. So it was more me just taking in how people treated me and right. realizing that now they are the expendable things here and not yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but honestly, I haven't had a polar change really. Mm. More getting noticed in public. Right. Yeah. Like I went to Vegas a little while ago and every day some random person on the casino table would come up and stop me. No and way. And I'd be like, you're a 43 year old man. Why are you watching two off hands? Stop. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> He's like, you're my favorite cast member. Yeah, that, that, literally. And I'm like, all right, man, that's cool. <laughs> like, thank you. I appreciate that. But that's the only weird thing for me because I am like a little bit uh, introverted. Yeah. So like, the whole idea of talking to somebody that knows me and I don't know them is a little bit weird. How are you supposed to find a good girl if you're not telling them, like, that you're a nerd up front? Yeah, that's basically the because goal Because I get in. bored with ask, the good girls. Yeah, but if you're... Oh, my hold God. Hold on. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with a good girl? Yeah, what's wrong with... I'm a good girl. I, we'll make you cookies and rub your feet. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I get the feet. toxic ones to do that, too, but the difference oh. is, is that... But we won't put your face, our face in your phone. Okay, well, then I get bored. I want a little bit of chaos. Okay. I, I, I want something to keep it going, like a little bit of, like... Tug Back and pull. And, yeah, for, for sure. Like the pull relationship. No, you want absolutely it. Yeah, not. I but say. I haven't got, I've gotten past that yet. So. Oh, that's true. <laughs> have you ever had like a serious girlfriend for a long time? The most serious girlfriend I had was two years and she was a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> you are full of surprise. Uh, yeah. I literally got speechless. I honestly am like, oh my god, he's a sweet introvert nerd that dates strippers. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I you can write a book about you. Wait, so dating a stripper? How yeah. how are you how are you able to Sick. do that? Because I know a lot of guys would be like, I can't have my girl yeah. strip for other men while um, I date her. It definitely took a toll later on in the relationship. Yeah. But I'm big on trust. I I, I do like trust. Like that's okay. a big thing. So I'm good with you until the minute you lie to me. Mm. As soon as you lie to me, I'll never trust you You've again. never cheated. Good. Never say never. <laughs> we didn't say that. Now, I will say the one the one time I fully cheated was I got cheated on first. Oh, so this was just like come back. Oh, oh I found out this the next day so that when toxic. I passed out drunk, I woke up and there were like texts from her ex that was visiting the college that weekend. So I was like, all right, gang, two can play at that game. Stop. See, this is like... You're, you are into toxic. So, so you said, I'm, I'm, no, no, but I understand, I understand, I understand what you're saying with like the tug and pull and like having the little arguments because sometimes it brings you closer together in exactly. a weird way. Exactly. So what would be an example of something that you guys would bicker about that would be kind of stupid? Um, I don't know. Just like I, I don't want to see somebody getting the attention that I, I deserve to be getting. Just like mm -hmm. you don't want to see me giving another girl attention that so you like think you should be getting. So it's like a little game getting. playing. Right. But at the end of the day, I want, I'd want i rather have a negative situation mm -hmm. and grow from it mm -hmm. than just be fucking perfect. Because nobody's right, perfect. Right, right, right. That's where I start to think I things like are being made up. I feel like you need someone that's like super independent. Oh, 100%. Like but you but need has their own, own job. Shit, My best no relationships have been own job. When they go out, they almost have resting bitch face and just like do them. Like they don't yes. even want to talk to the right, randoms. Right, they barely right, even want to talk to me yeah. but they're there well, that's like, so true that's honestly yeah. my ideal scenario i need that yeah. little extra push to try and get somebody to talk to me or open up i mean to me. i always say my ideal type of guy would be someone who has a nine to five i don't see them all day <laughs> yeah, me too. and then we'll get dinner and it's great get dinner and go to bed perfect. honestly like, yeah. why do you want to talk to him face him every single time because when sophia and i were on uh dating apps a lot uh -huh. of these guys would pose their job tech I'm like, okay, you have an idea for an app doesn't mean you have a job. Right. But that also means you're home 24 seven. Exactly. Exactly. Are you on any dating apps? I've gotten banned from a lot. What do you mean banned? Are what you screenshotting? You no, 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 no. So specifically, like girls like, report you. I get reported on Tinder, like in Bumble, all the time for being a fake profile. Oh, okay. So I got kicked yeah, off that of that. Yeah, that makes sense. Hinge, I got kicked off. Be okay, so <laughs> so on Hinge, you know how it has like four or five pictures down the line, and they yes, have like yeah. the questions. And right. So I always say I date girls that like girls. That's just like a thing for me. Okay, got it. Okay. So I would just only message the girls I had a photo with one of their friends, 
And you I just, so I would just be like, so. Stop, stop. <laughs> I would just be like, so how close of friends are you guys? And stuff like Wait, that. Wait, so all these girls <laughs> reported you for doing yeah. that? Yeah. And oh, then, and, I, would, I mean, how would they know that you were well, doing that intentionally? Well, I don't know. But Hinge sent me an email one day and they were like, we were only sh like sending out or letting people have accounts that are looking for relationships. I was like, I'm looking for a relationship. I just want them to like girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I just want yeah, I feel like that's. Yeah. That's, that's fair. kind of unfair that's that right. they kicked you it's off. Little, it's like sexist a little bit a little or something bit. like that. Yeah. Sexuality. Yeah, There's yeah, something. Sexu you know what? <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. I know Everyone what you're trying to has say. a type. But what, what's the yeah, my about? type is girls that like girls. So, so like, what about, I don't. What about Raya? Oh, I'm a Raya. That, that works one, you're fine. That one's I'm that's fine. But I'm I I stay calm on Raya just Why? because the people Ooh. that are in Raya, I don't need to be canceled by the actual community. Yeah. I'll get canceled by the random people for stupid shit I do. You know what I don't understand about Raya was when people make this dating profile and they put just here for friends. Yeah. What is the what? Why can't what, are you, you make friends? Make, like, yeah, you're using yeah. a dating app to make friends. That doesn't make sense. Because I I, that's just uh, that's like going on Facebook and messaging somebody and like having a conversation with yeah, them and exactly. being like, "Yo, let's go vibe. Like, come over and like play video games." Like, exactly. Yeah, not gonna work. So, so you're looking. I would love to break down what break stands down. out to you when you're seeing a girl's dating profile. Because I remember when I had Raya, I would put like my job and things that were funny, and I was always thinking, is it better to do the funny or the serious approach? I personally, so like I said, I do like a girl that's funny. Yeah. But I feel like if there's a over over examination to the fact that like if you're trying to be funny, mm -hmm. I'll see that it's not funny. Right. Mm. I think that's. I think I was yeah. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I like I like witty. Oh but yeah. Let's yes. say that I yeah. like somebody that when I have a conversation, we can have banter together and like bounce right, off of each right, other. Right. If you're just doing stand up to me and it, I. Any part of it I don't find funny, it's just gonna be cringy. I also like someone that's like naturally funny in the sense that they did things in the past that were funny. They're like they're right. kind of self-deprecating. Like I, right. we were saying that she would make fun of the fact that a bee stung her throat, and she'll write that on her profile. A bee stung and me then, in the middle. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> let's, we have so much in common. Oh my god, what happened to you? I was trying to eat a sandwich, and oh. it just went in and in the mouth. <laughs> no way! See, I was just talking. What? But my, I guess my mouth was really large while how, I was talking. I haven't been acknowledging how open your mouth is when you talk, but now it's all <laughs> to look at. Yeah. <laughs> No! Oh, <laughs> uh, man, I screwed myself. But I was just talking, and then it flew and stung my uvula. <laughs> and uh, I had to pull it out with tweezers because everyone was grossed out my family. No one would help me. And I was drinking tequila for No days. way. I yeah. said that tequila would sterilize it, so I only had tequila. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. It was good. <laughs> the little yeah, look, the side like, eye. <laughs> she's like, the beast still hurts my throat. All right, just take another shot. By the way, I got so many likes on Hinge for that. I know. And I wrote Bionicles. Do you remember Bionicles? Um, the little Yeah, that's things? how I used to The robots. Yeah. It's a love building. Sick. That's so you guys right. are nerds. We're nerds. No, no, okay. no. We're we saying. Okay. need the instructions But that's the thing those. is when we were writing that, those were the responses that we got the most from guys. It was like, oh my God, that you're just naturally nerdy or you're funny right. or whatever. I, I think that's definitely the kicking point. Yeah. Because it's the girls that try too hard one way or another, that's just too much for me. I'd yeah. rather no bio. Right. Than somebody Ooh, trying really mysterious. hard. Because one hundred percent, it's serious. You actually get to know them. You're yeah. not. They're not giving their information to just anybody. Yeah. That's like something I go for. The, Are you the strategic when you when you build your profile with the types of photos? No. You're not. No. Because no. girls are very strategic. Oh, no. Yeah, we are. We'll, we'll I haven't do, changed my photos in a year. See that? You know, we'll try to do a sweet one, maybe a nice selfie, one of a dog or a burrito. No. And or then, like, like we'll try to do a bikini one, but not one that's like so sexy, but yeah. just enough. It's, it's very strategic. It is strategic. I love that guys are like, we don't even notice. Yeah. Don't no, even notice. Oh, we do this podcast every single week. We go from dating to relationship advice to mental health, to business sometimes, and everything in between. But we are excited to bring on a totally new segment that will show and hopefully teach you guys something about saving. We are calling this new segment Unfiltered Finance, brought to you by Moneyline. So you're probably asking, what is Moneyline? Well, it is a financial app full of innovative products that are designed to help you own your money life. You can download it today in the App Store. It combines motivation, knowledge, products, and offers into a personalized app experience that helps you own your money life every single day. Wow, because yeah. honestly, there's something that I've actually been struggling with lately, and I feel like prices are going up all the time, every single day, so I've been trying to figure out ways that I can save money. Sophia, I've noticed the same thing. I mean, my shopping addiction has taken a serious hit. I don't want to admit it, but I think I'm going through the same problem. So let's just talk about it. Okay. How do we save better? Well, I know there are a lot of apps out there that can help you, such as Moneyline, but I also think taking a hard look at what we're spending money on 
can help us target the problem areas. I know. As you guys know, and Sistine definitely knows, I'm a foodie. So for me, I go out to eat a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do, but it eats up a lot of my money. No pun intended. That was a terrible joke. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I feel like a great solution to that would be inviting friends over for a potluck. That's a good Mm. way to save. That way you can still enjoy the company, but you will also save money by cooking the food yourselves. That's a great idea. You're welcome. Okay. Your turn. I love shopping, so how are you going to help me? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, if you're okay with it, why don't you go through all your clothes in your closet and sell some of it? Then use that money to go get some new stuff. See, although I do have attachment issues to all of my clothes, I don't wear all of them, so Mm -hmm. it's not a terrible idea to start selling them. And you know what's even better? There's some things I want in your closet, so maybe I will take them off your hands and buy it from you. That's unacceptable. You are not invited to my garage sale. You see a girl that's out. What do you do to go up to her? Do you ever, like, approach Eye contact. Nope. You just stare at them? I don't mean, I'm not not sitting across the club eyeballing them, but... Do the stare into the camera. No, it's not. It's not even a stare. Please. Do it. Do you, like, look them up and down? I mean, yeah, 100%. Like, I'll just, I'll look from across the club, and I'll just, like, I'll look, take glances, I guess, and see if they look my direction, which usually they are not over me, but just my people cause chaos. Mm. So, like, usually we have a lot of attentions at our table. And then I just, like, eyeball them, and then I don't break the eye contact. Oh, my God. Like, I let them look away. I'm not looking away. But you don't go up to them. No. You wait for them to go up to you. I just, like, I just say, come here. (gasps) Come here. (laughs) Do you do that on the DJ booth? Yeah. Do you get so many girls doing DJ? Like, is that a? I don't recall. Um, don't... What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait what does that mean? I mean, I'm not trying recall. to. I'm not here to like overhype myself. I no, mean, no, no. Definitely... But that's what we do. Oh. We overhype we over our guests. Okay. We're on we wax. Um. Yes. Yeah. I definitely. It works for what it is. But why I, wouldn't it work? But I don't. I don't yeah. really have a like. I definitely get anxious when I'm DJing. Really. Mm. Only because like. It's live. Like, it, anything yeah, could yeah. happen in the situation. I've never done anything live. You right, know? I've yeah. always been, like, do a, a, a photo shoot comes out six months later or whatever. Right, right, right. So I tend to just ignore people until after my set. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, you get a lot of attention from it and stuff right. like Have that. Have you but... ever royally messed up DJing? That was just so not, ever not myself, but okay. a whole DJ board has just shut off. Oh, like in the middle of everything. Do they going boo you? On. Are you in trouble for that? Oh, I don't care. I I just literally get on there. I'm like, we're gonna blame the club for this one, whether it's mine or not. Yeah. Like I just I shoot the blame on other. I just people. start shuffling and distract yeah. everyone. Oh, or I'm like, you guys ever heard of Slim Shady? And then just start like, rapping. Like I dyed my hair blonde. Oh, I just caused chaos. Really? Like, did some... you just dye? Yeah, I did. Yeah, two nights ago, last night. Why? Yourself? Yeah. I just get bored. Oh my god. I you... did you get a new tattoo too? You said you got the tattoo recently on your. Oh, yeah, I got right. my head tattooed. Is that tattooed. the new one behind you? <gasps> yeah, I just Does got... Does that hurt? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's yeah, really bad. Does that hurt? Really bad. Which was the pa- most painful? My palms. <gasps> Real- I've actually heard that. The mm-hmm. hands are the worst together. Because you have so many nerves in there that, like, my arm kept pulling away, so they had to Ew. take a, a belt and tie me down to the Shut table. Up. Why would you want to do that to yourself? Well, that one was drunk, and I'm, I have, like, OCD, so I had to get the other one. I have to be oh, balanced. Oh, fair. I get that. Have you ever regretted any of yours? Um, I mean, I got a couple, I got my ex's name. <gasps> the stripper? Yeah. Were you in love with her? Yeah. What wait, happened? Wait, wait, did you cover She's it? She's lied. Oh, she lied? She would continue to lie. Yeah, she... I covered it myself. I bought a tattoo gun and just did it myself. Oh my God. God, that's like, but you like, were tense. like so living the life. Wait, wait. I had to do it. I had to get my name so, on her, her name on me. Why? Because I, I needed my name on her. If you were going to keep dancing. Like, oh, you put, she put your name on her. Yeah. So wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. So did wait I, a stand, minute. Wait, did you put out, where did you put it? Mine or hers? Hers. Where was hers? Her name was right here. Like, right. Okay. Right that's it. Where was your name on her? Right on her. All right. You all right. Like so you, you literally. Her? No. Yeah. You it, was like, it was like my old name in red right here. So you Duh. branded her because you're like. I was like, if, if everyone's going to stare at your ass being shook, they're going to look at my name. No. She was like, I'll do it if you do it. And I'm like, yeah. Difference is I've got like. 60 tattoos. Wait, why did she lie? Because that's what girls do, okay? They, they lie. <gasps> that's not true. I don't lie. Not good you, girls. Okay, you not and I both girls. know you lie. No. You have lied. Not all the time. No, like, okay, there you go. See, not, not all the time. No, but like, never my cheated. lie is like, my lie is like, I, I can't, uh, my lie is like putting hang out. on when we're like sleeping in bed. So then you think I like look naturally beautiful when I wake up in the morning. That's like my <laughs> lie. <laughs> 
<laughs> that girls do the craziest crazy. stuff. I feel like a you little think, blush. By the way, I'm going to give you some facts That's right now. That's my you lie. You think that when we go to the bathroom first thing in the morning that we're just like maybe going to the restaurant. Oh, no, I know and what you're like doing. brushing our teeth. You're contemplating like life. Brushing oh, our yeah. eyebrows, concealer, curling really? our lashes, no, a little no. bit of blush, come back to bed. I know because blush. you guys turn on the sink so it seems like you're pooping or something and you don't want to make the noise. Oh, when gosh. really you're just in there getting all your shit done. <gasps> I'm not, I'm not stupid. That's not I know what we're doing. But you're it, not allowed to know this. Yeah, that's not... That's what? my lie, though. Like, did she cheat on you? She would just... It, it was a lot of, the, like, the work thing, like, what she was doing in work. Again, my big thing is truth. I can deal with whatever yeah. if you tell me the truth. Yeah. If you lie to me, yeah. then it, then it's fucked. We're done. So I would just be like, tell me if, like, you're doing a dance or you're doing this or doing that. And I would just, like, find receipts or whatever from, mm. like, she said she didn't do shit. Or, mm. And so... And then it just became a thing like at home where she had clients text her and like oh, there was just no separation to right. it. No, you can't do that. Which I needed the separation. Right. I, I needed oh, that yeah. break from it. And every time I wanted that, it seemed as if I was the problem in it. And it, it just ended up becoming a Do you a ever thing. get um, bothered or does it re ever really affect you when you do get broken up with or if you break up with someone? Because I know with every breakup, it, you know, it hurts a little oh, bit more I was and more. losing it on that show. Really? I had broken up less than a, a month before it filmed. No. So like but you I know with the month girl? Yeah, with the, the really toxic one that had her face yeah. ID in my phone. That was like we broke up, I wanna say like right after Halloween, okay. and then I went in December. Oh wow, that was a quick turnaround. Yeah. So what were you thinking? You're sitting in the quarantine for two weeks and you have no phone. Well, so right before I went in, she started dating another person. That's when I got blocked. So that's why I had no phone. Oh my god, I'd no be weed. Crazy. No oh, no people. I was like so losing my anxiety. mind mentally before I even went on the show. Right. And then you go on the show and it was it was a therapy experience. Like I'm right. I'm doing workshops and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did you actually learn anything from those workshops? I need therapy. You yeah. need therapy. <laughs> You're like I yeah. actually do My something. mom calls me like every week with like a new online therapist stuff. She's like you should go to that. Or what that. kind of therapy would you go to? I just need someone to talk to. Yeah, I I just that. like I just keep it all in my head cuz I I feel like I can handle the world. Yeah. And then eventually like every once in a while I'll just pop up and I'll just have like a moment where like I'll I'll lose it or I'll act a type of way that I usually wouldn't or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't actually have like any situations that go on daily, I don't think. Right. But no, like it was really nice going on the show and like mm -hmm. and like learning things. That's why I went on like a maniac and I came out of it very calm. That wasn't right. that wasn't was acted say, or you... fake or anything like that. Like I actually I was did actually relaxed. see that. You had the yeah. biggest jump when I saw. Thank you. Yeah, I, I I personally think the relationship I built the most was with myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Because beforehand, I would literally call some girl and be like, just come over and cuddle. And that's the only way I could sleep. I couldn't sleep alone. Really? Aww. Like, I hated it. I couldn't fall asleep. I'd be up till six in the morning, like, sitting wow. in bed. And now, like, since coming back from it and dealing with a month of no phone, no people, right. no this or that, I'm so much better with just being by myself and, like, relaxed and yeah. not needing anything. Right. That's actually yeah. really so, interesting. But you're, so you peg me as a relationship guy that oh, you're more comfortable being in one than with Serial one. monogamist. Yeah, that's that's yeah. how I am, too. I, I love sharing my day with someone exactly. or, or doing things like that with someone. Well, being three years single so far, yeah, I, yeah. like, miss, yeah, it's been so long, but, like, I miss actually having someone to talk to every day. Uh, I'm at a year and a half. It's the longest I've ever gone in oh, a wow. relationship. But I do have to say, dating for a girl in L.A. is much harder than dating yeah. for a guy. There are so many pretty insane. women. It's there are true. The girls in L.A., you can just pick them out of a lineup. They're yeah. all pretty. Again, but they're all pretty doesn't matter. Exactly. That's true. Like think think of it this way, okay? Your choices in your head, mm -hmm. not as many attractive dudes or whatever, you have less options. It's also less options to fuck up and have to deal with. Yeah. I've got so many pretty options that I have to make it through every one of them to find one that's actually normal or that's one that actually I can vibe with. Yeah. It's a lot more difficult in my opinion, because I've got too many people to possibly try and make something work with mm -hmm. where they all end up shit. It's, we always say that the only way that we find someone that you actually are going to work out with is if you're instantly comfortable with them. 100%. Like, they're your yeah. best friend within the week. I need to be able to go from, like, you come over and have a movie night or something to literally spend a week in a row and not be tired of each other. Like, yeah. I need to be obsessed yeah. with you. Yeah. If I'm not obsessed with yeah. you, then as toxic as that may sound, I just, right. you know, you're, I'll be You're bored. way more emotional than I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a basket case. I love that. <laughs> basket case, but you I actually, love like, when are... people wear their heart on their sleeve. Yeah. yeah. That's that, so important. I, again, you don't think it when you see my profile yeah. or stuff yeah. like that but that's why I, I put on this all the tattoos right, and this. Right. I don't want you to think you know me I want to be able to surprise Wait, you are you the guy that says first and foremost to the girl like exactly what you want and oh like, for sure oh so you're very direct when you tell mm -hmm. a girl if you like like them yeah. like, I like you I want it this correct work. yeah oh okay. now I've been told that I, I ghost 
And, I've been told that you've just um, done it. And he goes, uh, sources say. But yeah, it's <laughs> word on the grapevine is. But I don't intentionally. It's more of a, I get really about someone and then they annoy me or they do something that sketches me out or something like that. Mm. And I just decide to walk away. Mm. And instead of saying what was the problem. Or like what? Instead of saying what the problem was. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. like... I mean, I'll say the problem once or twice, but as soon as it's repetitive and you keep asking me questions about it or this and that, mm -hmm. I'll just leave rather than try and handle it. Because right. uh, if I can't, if you don't get what I'm putting down and you yeah. keep acting like a type of way. Do just, you think that you're going know. for the same type of girl every time? Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that you're looking in the wrong place? Mm -hmm. So um, perhaps maybe a library or a museum, <laughs> <laughs> coffee shop. I mean, no, crazy girls can like coffee, too. Yeah, that's true. And books. <laughs> I guess they're everywhere. <laughs> I just, you know, I tried not to look for them at all anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best way to go about and it. I think that's, it'll fall into my lap when it's meant to happen. Yeah. I don't wake up during the day. Like I said, I'm, I'm asleep till noon. I or... feel like you need a girl that's polar opposite from you. 100%. Like, yeah. does not get tattoos randomly. Does In the gym by 5.30. Like, mm -hmm. to yeah, literally. I need someone <laughs> to tie up. me down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's making you celery juice for when you wake up. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I need. But yeah. then you can bring her up by saying, like, let's do crazy yep. things. Like, let's go out. Exactly. All right, ladies. Yeah. And, then, and then I don't have the anxiety either, because I do exactly. have anxiety. So, like, I'm not thinking what you're doing at night or she this also, or that. She needs to be deep, like, almost like an in-house therapist yeah. for you. I need a girl that's asleep by 10 p.m. Yep. and willing to hear all my issues because if yeah. you don't hear it, someone else will, and yeah. we don't need that. Yeah, she doesn't strip for I some like people. that's going to be so easy that. to find. I, I don't people. mind stripping, by the way. I, I no, don't, by I don't the way, we like, don't either. She, hey, we don't either. If you can we loved Miami. <laughs> we, lo we did love Miami. 11 was yeah. pretty fun. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? No, it's funny. When we go to Miami, um, they always say that our dad, he used to go out a ton in mm -hmm. Miami, so all these bouncers would know. <laughs> when he was younger, younger. out of my nose. Yeah. They younger. called him the King of Miami. Yeah. Really? Will so, Smith wrote a rap about blood. him. Is that about him? <laughs> yep. Yes. And uh, he still, we ha we were going out. This is when we knew it was alarming. We would go out. Uh, yeah. And old, old promoters would come up to us and be like, your dad had a table every, every night. Club, like, every club. Oh, my God. And we're God. like, this is nuts. And, I'm like, and we're here. It's like full circle. Yeah. It was bad. We are going to do some rapid fire questions. Oh, for fuck's so, sake. No, yeah, they're not hard. Buddy. They're super easy. There are like nine questions, so I'll start. Ready? One, celebrity crush. Sydney Sweeney. Ah, that's a great answer. Are you watching her this season? Oh, of course. She's How do you feel ever. about her mental breakdown? She's pretty toxic. That's Does that turn you on the water? Is all right, all right. The, the fact that she's like very about, you know, in the show at least, She's always like apologizing and trying to make right. sure somebody else is okay and make sure that like they're loved and they they feel a type of way. Yeah, that's very much how I feel like I am in a relationship oh. and like I'm constantly trying to make sure the mm. other person is okay and and so I, I respect that a lot. Plus she's gorgeous. So. Also, she's building her own Ford Bronco. I I didn't know about that on TikTok. Look yeah. at Sid's garage. It's really she cool. built her own Bronco from scratch. She, I mean, she's the jack of all trades, really. Said if you want to get married, hit me up. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. <laughs> she was watching this, I'd lose my mind. Sophia, this question. If you had to play a song every time, forever, when you had sex, which song would it be? It'd every time be you had sex, a song came on. On loop. What would it have to be? Pina Colada. <laughs> Stop. No, it would not be Pina Colada. Actually, that's not a bad one. It's kind of slow. It's slow. It plays in the background. And it plays in my head like elevator music anyway. I think I'd never have a pina colada so, ever again. I, well, I don't like pina coladas, first off. I love pina coladas. Nope, not for me. Why? Too, Too much sugary? sugar. Yeah, I like just straight up whiskey or tequila. But mm. honestly, that song can either be background music or you can laugh with it and be a vibe. Yeah. Or it can be really romantic. It just plays on like everything <laughs> oh needs God, to. Oh my God, that's great. Actually, that's funny. So if you would play opera or some shit. Okay, false. Maybe she's like, I've been like, to an opera one time. I love opera. Okay. Like, do you really? Yeah, I She's do. like, I love the I love Phantom of the music. Opera soundtrack. I literally, my Spotify they is like opera sex. classics. Okay, you know, <laughs> just because I'm worldly doesn't yeah, mean. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, who was your first kiss? Uh, kindergarten. Some girl named Whitney. Whitney. Yeah, it was in my backyard by the swings. How you was it? So I don't remember. My mom said it was great. <laughs> oh, that's Your so mom. cute. Oh, you need a chaperone for that. All right. How much money would it take for you to streak across a field during an NFL game? Am I going to get arrested? Mm, let, no, let's just say no. you, get, you pop over the fence. You're fine. Free? I don't give a shit. Are you Not even serious? a dollar. You just... I mean, if you want to give me a dollar, buy me a drink, I'll do it. But like, <laughs> like if you just said you He's won't. like, just a whiskey. No, you look at me and you say you won't, I'll, I'll do it. 
Bet. Uh, so when people dare you, you just oh, yeah. go for it. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I don't get embarrassed. That's why, like, with all, like, the crying stuff and everything, like, everybody's giving me shit. I'm like, I really don't care. I'm mm. giving you shit about crying. Oh, you should see my, my mentions. They're all over that. But, but like, who, I just don't care. Is it care. mostly men that are giving you shit? Or no, like, there's some girls, too. But, like, I really, I don't, if, the way I look at it, I'd rather be infamous and famous. If you're talking about me in any light, you're still talking about me. Retweet. Oh, that's true. What was that quote that people say? It's better to be talked about than not. Yeah. Someone said that, and I was like, oh. But, like, if you're infamous for doing stupid shit or looking bad, then no one expects you to look good anyway. <gasps> you can do true. whatever you yeah. want. True. Let's start looking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so we look good, we look really good. Best advice you received? Best advice I've received? Yeah. Be yourself. That's really it. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you've been told it since you're kids and stuff, and everyone thinks it's corny or, like, it's just your parents talking to you or whatever. But right. really, if I wasn't just doing me, I'd be miserable. Right. The only reason I'm okay with everything that goes on in the world is because I know it's me and I'm not faking for anybody. Amen. Love that. That's true. Okay. I'm like, why am I getting all the crazy questions? I know, you I, have I, it. Jesus. I kept doing it. Oh my I God. Kept doing it. All right. Yeah. If you could have an endless supply of anything, what would it be? Excluding money. Excluding money. Yeah, because obviously that'd be great, but. Um. I, I don't want to say woman because that's. I was gonna say, was gonna say strippers. <laughs> yeah, I do love strippers. Okay, okay that's your answer. Of strippers. We love that. Yeah, I think that would be it. But like, not like Forever I want. I want to be friends. Like, I want to own a strip club. I want to. I want to be like. Oh my god, you're gonna be like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I want to call it the Litter Box. Okay, how about shut up? I was about to say, what's the next name? Oh my god, the Litter Box. The Litter Box, because it's like pussy cats, pussy. Okay, like, you need oh. to write a song <laughs> the, called wait, the Litter that's Box. That's so dirty. The wait, Litter oh, Box. Oh, it's down and grimy. It's grimy. I don't want a gentleman. I'm Love. sorry. On sunset. Like, this is like the body shop. I'm your on first sunset. investor. I love Body Shop, by the way. Oh, I, I have so many friends shop. that work at Body no, Shop. It's body amazing. I love Body is. Shop. I took a girl home from Body Shop, and the next day I woke up to AirPod Pros and Gucci sweatpants. She what? gave it to you? She, she Instacarted them to me in the morning. Wait, so you were the baby? You were the uh, the sugar? No, yeah, she was sugar, sugar baby. Mom. I was a sugar, sugar baby. baby. I've had sugar mom. I what? love being sugar Honestly, baby. Honestly, I, I, I was. Like the opposite. What last did she time? Be? I know. Well, I kind of well, no, I went in, I threw 100, I got 250 in gear back. It was what? like, it was investment. The biggest turnoff that you've ever experienced. If you, if we're on a date and you like give a guy another tension, make eye contact with him. Like I was on a date with this girl mm. and we were walking down the street and this guy walked by and full like head break, like neck breaking, like turn and look at him. I literally was just like, all right, I'm out. Oh, she was doing that. She did that. And oh. I was like, I'm out. Did I you actually leave the date? Yeah. I got in the car, I left. Whoa. I said, this is Sustain. I was going on a double date with her. I said, Maybe he'd like me more if a guy sent me a drink. Like she asked the way so No, no, no. See that? that? That's a vibe. I'm for See? that. No. I, said, I said this to do that. So then it looked like like a guy thought I was cute. Right. Because at the end, it is bad. But like if none of my homies think want my girl or think she's attractive or whatever, mm. I'm like, all right. That's whatever. So like I need that confirmation Backwards. that other people want them I too. Said this for, and it's like because no. I told the guy that and he said. I would have been totally turned off because why would a guy it send a drink like to you on a date? No, but it's not—it's not your fault that somebody took you a drink. It's not my fault that I was walking to the bathroom. It's one thing someone. if you take that drink over and you say thank you and all that. Fuck well, that. Right. Uh, but like, if you're just getting it, it's confirmation to me that other people want you. Let me step it up a bit. So okay, that, so why don't we do this next little, time that you go on a date? Okay. You give us a call. And you're gonna come. We'll buy sit me a at drink. the bar. We'll buy you a drink so that it makes. And if it's not going well, we can just all hang out. Yes. Perfect. You join us at the bar. If you could fight any celebrity in a boxing match, who would it be? In a boxing mat. You know what? Justin Bieber. Oh, actually, this does not look alike. That's why, because I've been called <laughs> yeah, Justin wait. Bieber since I was like 10 years old. Does that bother so, you? No, not at all. It's, it's a compliment. Yeah. He's the richest little white kid in the world. Yeah. Like, he's killing it. But I'd love to take him on. I'd love to just I like, I am superior. Oh, you I think you'd win? Superior. Oh, yeah. Do you well, work how out? How tall are you? Yeah. Okay. The fuck what? is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> She's a very. Are you, are you kidding me? I don't know. Like, it's, uh, does he work out? Like Justin? I don't ask him. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm six one. I don't know. And okay. yes, I fucking. Work. I don't know. I can't see you, you asshole. Like oh really? Yeah. I used. I've. I've wrestled. I. I oh. train. Like I like to fight. I used to be okay. the kid that would like look for a fight. First, in the club. I was betting oh. money on Justin. Now I'll put money on you. Oh no, I'm Sorry. crazy. I'll, I'll start throwing hands. See, oh, I'm wow. the type where if someone fights at the club, I'm like, Sophia, let's get a better view. And she's like, we need oh, to Oh, for be. sure. I'm like, I want to see. No, yeah. I I went to a party not too long ago. People were fighting. I like climbed out the window. Yeah. I was yeah, like, like, what's happening? Like, what's <laughs> what's yeah. your question now? I'm nervous. Well, no. So we don't get asked questions. I actually have two questions. Okay, go. One, 
being out here, like, I don't, I don't know if you guys grew up in L.A. or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but much. do you feel like your life would have been different had you, your dad not been who he was? 100%. Like, do you feel like... Oh, absolutely. Uh, do you admire that you are where you are now because of it? Or oh, totally. Or do you 100%. wish that your life could have been It's different? interesting because we grew up really sheltered from everything. Okay. And they really? Did, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah, didn't yeah. want we us... We inter- super normal. Yeah, they didn't want us to <laughs> yeah. do anything entertainment. We, like, went to Catholic school, did our homework, never got a detention. We're yeah. really okay. straight and narrow. And then uh, it sort of got to an age yeah, where, like, well, no, 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 it was, it was, then we, <laughs> we lost launched. our minds. No, and then it got to the point where a lot of people would only recognize us or want to be friends with us or want to date us because uh, of that. Because of that. Right. And it bothered me for a little bit, but then I sort of had to remind myself that I'm so incredibly proud of the career that he's had. So if I'm ever embarrassed by it, that's just so stupid right. insecurity yeah. on my part. Like, right. I should lift yeah. it. Not, I definitely you know. think I would probably be in a different career. Like okay. Totally opposite career, but because this falls into your lap a little bit. Yeah. Well, in the sense that we're raised around cameras and we have a very, very loud family dynamic, and so entertain. Yeah, and entertainment being open and honest on camera, talking to each other, yeah. it's always been very natural to us. Okay. It's, but I feel like if we weren't raised around that, you could. I think you'd here's still the, be yeah, creative. Like here's you, the thing, like. My my friend's dad and his mom are both real estate agents, so he does real estate because that's what he knows. Mm-hmm. When you grow up in a house that all you know right. is Hollywood entertainment, it just makes sense. Like I don't, I right. couldn't do something else because yeah. you literally only know that. And I I've always seen myself, even as a kid, I was like, I'm gonna be a fucking star. Yeah. Well, I you guys I, are I, killing I, it. I, I mean, I think I would have been a doctor. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I should. I feel like a research analyst. All right. Oh, I guess. I'm really good at research. Okay. I'm really, really good. Okay. Well, well, let's let's wrap the show. Oh, well, I got one more question. Okay, another question. Yeah. What color do we make this? Woo! Oh. Because I'm I'm going through it right now. We have. Wanna, a, so okay. is this the base color of the next mm-hmm. color you want to go into? Would you do a crazy color? Oh yeah, I'm doing. I'm I'm up for. I feel like up. you're gonna go green. I was looking at red. I don't think Ooh. you should do green. I, I wanted know. to do like a baby blue, but my homie just did baby blue, so you I don't know. Want to copy him. I don't and know if that matters. I don't think matters, you should do pink. Lilac. Like purple? Like a lavender? Yeah, yeah like a, like a lav- lavender. Like a lavender. light purple. I actually think that would look so good with your eyes. Too. Or right. a teal. A teal. No, that's like, like a green but my, blue. So my boy just did light blue. It's like ice blue. No, no, I would do so a light So I'm trying purple. to stay away from what other people do because, you know, I'm me. I'm fucking yeah, different. Like different. All right, so I'm going to do lavender. Yeah, and I'll send you guys actually, a photo. And if you yes. fucking hate it, I'm going red. My friend okay, has perfect. this guy that actually hair that's exactly like yours. He does the sickest designs. Designs, yeah. Oh my god, they're insane. I, I want to start painting my head and oh, just have like some little artist bitch. Oh my god, I can't something. wait don't to do, see like, what you rainbow. do. Don't do rainbow. I hate like crazy. You know what a girl told me one time that she said date a hairdresser because they're always changing their hair and it's like you're with someone new every oh, night. Oh, look at that. Actually, yeah. that's kind of fun to date you then because you probably just change your personality yeah. and look all the time. So oh, it's not right like you're dating the same person. Yeah. yeah. You guys ever want to do this again? I'll just bring some paint so we can just paint my hair and have girl I talk. would so love to. She, I cut my own hair. She never lets me touch people's hair. <laughs> yeah, you touch cut me. your own hair? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll bring their trimmers. Hair. You can do the whole fucking Yay! thing. Yay! Oh, I love no, it. We'll okay, it well, that's what we're doing next time. All right, on the show. I love we're that for us. All right, tell everyone where they can find your social media, where they can see your DJ set. Um. Yeah, so... Steven Ditter on everything. Uh, Yaddy Daddy on everything is my DJ name. Yaddy Daddy. Yaddy Daddy. Daddy. Um, Where did that come from? And on the East Coast, if you're tatted, you say Yadded. Yeah. So, oh. Daddy. Yaddy Daddy. Wow. Mm, I guarantee yeah. you're asking for it, buddy. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here to piss people off. So come <laughs> listen to my shit. Uh, go watch me be an idiot on social media or on Netflix. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.